I'm uh, Dr. Vamsi Vilcheri. I'm an associate professor and the director for the Thoracic Medical Oncology Program at NYU Perlmutter Cancer Center. I am going to be uh, giving a summary of our article entitled Outcomes of the First Line Pembrolizumab Monotherapy for PDL1 Positive Metastatic Non Small Cell Lung Cancer at US Oncology Practices that was recently published uh, in the journal Immunotherapy. The aim of the study was to describe clinical outcomes of first-line pembrolizumab monotherapy administered at U.S. oncology practices for high PDL1 expressing, that is, tumor proportion score of at least 50% uh, metastatic non-small cell lung cancer without EGFR, AL, cross aberrations, and good performance status of 0 to 1. This retrospective uh, study hence examined real-world clinical outcomes in patient populations that is uh, clinically similar to that enrolled in Keynote 24 trial and the subpopulation in Keynote 42 trial. We conducted a retrospective analysis of data sets arising from a flat iron longitudinal uh, health database comprising of electronic health record data from 280 participating cancer clinics in the United States. DA-identified patient level data was collected uh, through technology-enabled uh, uh, electronic chart abstraction of structured and st unstructured data uh, from the EHR. We included adult patients who received at least one dose of pembrolizumab uh, at first-line therapy after pathologic confirmation of stage four or recurrent metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with PDL1 tumor proportionate score of at least 50% and no documented evidence uh, of uh, EGFR mutation or ALK and ROS1 rearrangements. We restricted all analysis to patients with ECOG performance status of zero or one, and those with at least six months of follow-up after pembrolizumab initiation. Two data sets were used. The EHR cohort included uh, patients who initiated pembrolizumab between October 26th of 2016 and September 30th, 2018. The data cutoff uh, used was March 31st, 2019. The spotlight cohort included a random sample of patients in data sets uh, who uh, initiated pembrolizumab between December 1st, 2016 and November 30th, 2017. Data cutoff uh, was September 30th, 2018. These patients were selected for enhanced manual chart review to collect real-world progression data, uh, response data, and reason for discontinuation. The study endpoints included overall survival for both the EHR and spotlight cohorts. In addition to real-world progression-free survival, real-world tumor response and reason for pembrolizumab discontinuation were evaluated in the spotlight cohort. To provide context to these results, we also report overall survival and investigator assessed progression-free survival and tumor response uh, results from similar patients in the pivotal phase three trials, including Keynote 42 and Keynote 24 with patients' uh, PDL1 expression of at least 50%. The study included 423 patients in the EHR uh, cohort and 188 patients in the spotlight cohort that met selection criteria. The median age in both studies was 72 years, and almost three quarter of the patients in both cohorts were 65 years or older. The EHR cohort included a greater percentage of men, 54% versus 48% in the spotlight cohort, and a greater percentage of uh, patients with ECOG performance status, one, 65% versus 57%. So for outcomes, survival rates in uh, the two real-world cohorts at 12 months was 59.1% versus 60.4% was similar to that of uh, Keynote 42 subpopulation with locally advanced or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with PDL1 TPS score of 50% or more. While median overall survival of approximately 19 months in EHR and spotlight cohorts 
was shorter than the Kino 24 uh, trial, which was 30 months. It was similar to that of the Keynote 42 subpopulation, uh, which was 20 months. Real-world progression-free survival, which was median 6.8 months, was similar to progression-free survival as assessed by investigators in Keynote 24 and Keynote 42 subpopulation with PDL1 TPS score of at least 50% with progression-free median survivals of 7.6 and 6.1 months. The real-world tumor response of 48% was also similar to investigator assessed a tumor response as part of the pivotal uh, trials, uh, which were 45% in Keynote 24 and 40% in Keynote 42. In real-world oncology practices, patients prescribed first-line pembrolizumab uh, monotherapy for pdl one high, that is TPS score of greater than 50%, metastatic non-small cell lung cancer tend to be older and include fewer men than in clinical trials, even after limiting to key uh, trial eligibility criterion such as good performance status. The outcomes observed in this retrospective study, including overall survival, real-world uh, progression-free survival, and real-world tumor response rate were consistent with pivotal trial findings supporting the effectiveness of first-line pembrolizumab monotherapy in real-world setting. Continued research is needed to investigate short-term and long-term outcomes of anti-PD-1, PD-L1 uh, treatments as monotherapy or in combination uh, for the heterogeneous patient populations with non-small cell lung cancer requiring care in clinical practice. <music>